Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was playing around with the spiral tool today, and I needed to join some nodes, and I kind of came up on something uh, that I, I guess I didn't really realize. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and try to be about in the center, and then I'm going to take all these lines and, and virtual segment, delete them. It is a rectangle, so it doesn't really matter if it's in the center or not. I actually missed that one little line right there, and that uh, we can go back and get that. It would probably help if it was dead on center, but in this exercise, it really doesn't. So then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to move it over just so I can see it, and then I'm going to mirror it both ways. And then I'm going to bring my lines in. I'm going to have to zoom in. And what I was trying to do was make a arrow shaped line out of this. And so when you have this, even though you weld this, these lines are not connected if we look at it in the shape tool. Um, they are connected, but the nodes are not connected. So you can go and select them all and go up to Windows Dockers that I always use and join curves and I've got mine set on a half an inch and so it works. So now these are all one node, but I need to, this will not work. Let's see how far apart these are by the parallel dimension tool. It's 0.42, so 0.50 should close it up, but it doesn't in this case. So let's take the shape tool and grab these two nodes and try to apply it. It does join them, but not what I want to do. I want to join those by doing this and join the two nodes and watch what happens. But I have to do this a lot and I have to go up to select them and I have to go up there. So I made a hotkey for it. Go to options, customization, and I just, and if you just look here, it just says break curve apart. Well, it's actually, let's uh, grab two of them and it'll say join two nodes. And I've, I've already made a hotkey for J, but I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to type in join. So here's join curves, which is this. This is join and you can kind of see that. And then go to hotkeys and you can shortcut keys and type in a letter J and then say assign, and then say okay. So it's gonna save me a lot of time because I have to do both sides. So now I have to do is select those and hit the letter J. And watch how quick I can join those and make a pointed line out of this. And then I, I can actually do the other side. And the reason for it was I was going to um, fill these in with a the smart field tool. So I'm all I'm doing is making a point. We're joining curves just wouldn't wouldn't do it for me in this case because they're normally like a path of curves. Almost through and I'm going to show you what I was trying to do. And I'm really one short, so I'm going to delete that. But I need well I'm one, I did 21 and I was playing around with earlier and actually, I wanted to make them off center too. And I've still got my nodes set on really big. I'm going to go to Corel Draw and turn my nodes into small. I was doing something earlier what I wanted to show off the nodes. So if you see here, I'm going to leak if I fill that in. So what I'm going to do is just take a two-point line. I'm actually going to get rid of that little bitty a part on both ends, take a two-point line, and I'm going to go from there to there because I really want to kind of play with this. And then I would take my Smart Fill tool and fill in these, and what I'm getting is sharp um, corners. And really what my plan was now to do the opposite ones so those lines aren't in, because I, I could just fill them all in. But this was my plan to begin with but because I'm, be able to use the, um, um, I can't even remember what I was trying to make. 
because uh, I actually tried this with the artistic media tool. But it's just a, it's a different structure. And there's other things you can do with this type of stuff. Uh, let me just back up here. And that's, that's exactly where I wanted to be. Um, let me actually flip this one the other way. And if I wanted to extend these lines to make really something totally different, uh, there's a couple ways you could do this. But the, the, if, you, if you just take these nodes and start moving them down, you're going to mess up your circle. So what you need to do is bring lines to there. And we're, I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work exactly, but I'm going to say, because I don't know if those lines are exactly all the same. So you like that one says 0 0.41. So my idea here is not going to work. Uh, let's see what the next ones are. Well, they're all 4-1 on this side. So it might work. So if we take and we want to extend, I just did a video on the other night on on uh, adding line, so we're going to add, but I don't know which way to go. We're going to get the two-point line, and we're going to grab the parallel dimension tool, and let's see if we need. Well, let's just let's just do. Uh, so I'm going to go 0 0.41, and let's say we want ten of them. Might not be enough, and I'm just going to hold down the control button, and then hit right here, and it worked well. See, they're not out exactly, so that isn't going to work. So let's back up here. But what you can do is very easily just, you know, take you a two-point line without any much trouble. Don't worry about the length, you know, because we can cut those length. But as long as you get on that node, you're, um, you're, I was just making sure I was there, um, you know, you see that the node is there, and I'm just holding down, I'm clicking the control button after I start moving. Uh, Seems like I'm getting progressively longer, but that doesn't matter because we can change that in just a second. And by this, we can actually, uh, after I do this, we can make, I'm going to try to go a little faster. Uh, it would help if I could zoom in, but I'm almost there. And as long as you get on that node, you're going to be good. Now, what I was saying, there are going to be nodes at the end of this. Um, if you hold down the Alt key and swipe through here and then grab the nodes, you've got all these nodes. And then you can hold down the control button and you can make these lines as long as you want them. And then if you wanted to trim them off, just draw another line across there. And it doesn't have to be straight across. And then just take your virtual segment delete key and do that. And there's a lot of stuff you could do with this. Uh, for instance, let's just... I could have left that line there. Um, you know, I'm going to delete that little bitty circle. Uh, not needed. Um, grab the shape tool and just kind of get those little bitty ones. And then take a two-point line between your, your other ones. Because I like building stuff like this and then smart filling. And this time I'm actually going to zoom in. And we're going to smart fill every other one. And I don't know if I did an even amount or it worked out. But that's kind of stuff you can really uh, take and run with it and do something else with it. I took away the outline now. Now, these, these lines aren't joined, but I could have very easily joined them before I took them apart. Uh, but if you're not going to need them joined, then don't worry about it. But then you could do a lot with this. Let's Well, let's see what we could do with it. Let's, uh, let's weld it together and see what happens. That didn't work. Well, let's just group it together. Let's go to object and group. And this is one thing I could just think of that you could use it for. Hit the plus key on the keyboard and then rotate it a negative 45 degree. Well, it's negative 90. And then take back up and take that one and put it right on that other line. And you know, you could, you've already created something. Um, I'm not exactly on my lines. I'm hoping that I'm, you know what, maybe that's why it wouldn't fit while I go. Um, 
because my lines aren't exactly the same. But you know what? I bet you we could stretch that a little bit and, and do it. Um, so you probably want to hold down the control button when you first make your spiral so everything's equal. But anyway, fun little project. Things you can do with the spiral tool and cutting sections away. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.